Hello everyone. Welcome to MS Apti webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to deploy progressive web app to Microsoft Edge web browser running on Windows 10 device with Intune. Progressive web app are apps built with web technologies like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, etc. But they have the feel and functionality of an actual native app. This now works seamlessly with most major web applications. We can easily implement a PWA deployment with Intune. The shortcut can also be populated to start menu, taskbar and desktop for easy access. Let's go to our Windows 10 device. This is our test Windows 10 device which is enrolled in Intune using Azure AD join method. Let's open Microsoft Edge web browser. Click on three dots. Go to apps and click on manage apps. We can confirm that we haven't installed any apps yet on our Microsoft Edge web browser. We want to install Outlook PWA on this Windows 10 device using Intune. Sign in to Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center as a global administrator or an Intune service administrator. We can access Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the URL HTTPS endpoint.microsoft.com. On home page, click on Devices. Under by platform, click on Windows. Under Windows policies, click on configuration profiles. Click on create profile. In create profile, select platform Windows 10 and later. And then select profile type as a setting catalog. Click on create button. Enter a descriptive name such as Deploying Outlook Progressive Web App. Optionally, enter a description for this policy and then select Next. In Configuration Settings, click Add Settings. Browse or search the catalog for the settings you want to configure. On the Settings Speaker window, I am going to use the search box. Let's type Web Apps and click on search. Now select Microsoft Edge category and under subcategory select configure list of force installed web apps. Let me select the checkbox. Click the cross mark at the right hand corner to close the settings speaker. The setting is shown and configured with a default value disabled. Toggle the switch to enable the setting and the policy specifies a list of web apps that install silently without user interaction and which users can't uninstall or turn off. Here we need to provide a JSON string to deploy and configure the app. Uh, let me copy this code. Uh, I'll provide this code in description as well. Uh, let me paste here. We can see a uh, green checkbox is there. Uh, now I'm going to click on next. On scope tags, uh, I'm going to click on next. Click on add group to add our taste group. From the list, select our taste device group named taste win client. Click on select. We can confirm our group is selected. Click next. In review plus create, review your settings which you have configured and when you are ready, click on create. We can see the confirmation message, deploying Outlook progressive web app created successfully. The policy is now shown in the configuration profile list as well. Now our groups will receive profile settings when the devices check in with the Intune service and then after the policy applies to the devices. 
To see that, let's go back to our Windows 10 device. Now, first of all, I'm going to close Microsoft Edge web browser. Or we will perform the manual sync with Intune. Click on Info. Click on Sync to start the manual sync process. In background, you can see the shortcut icon is created successfully. Here we can see uh, the shortcut icon is also created on our desktop based on the settings which we have specified in a configuration profile. So sync was successful. Uh, let me minimize it and let's open Microsoft Edge web browser. Click on three dots. Go to apps and click on Manage Apps. We can confirm that Outlook Progressive Web App is installed on this Windows 10 device using Intune. I want to perform Manual Sync one more time. Uh, let's click on Sync and uh, let's go back to Microsoft Endpoint Manager. Uh, let me click on Refresh. Let's uh, click on our profile. Uh, here we don't have any information yet, so I think uh, we need to wait a little longer. Uh, again, let me click on the configuration profiles. Let's click on refresh. Uh, let's check the status of the sync. Okay, sync was successfully completed. Okay, we don't have any information yet, so I'm going to re uh, refresh the web page and let's see if any information is there or not. And now we can see uh, one uh, succeeded. Uh, let's click on view report to see the report. We can see the name of our device lab win 10 hyphen CLI 02. Log on user is user one and check in status is success. So this is how we can deploy progressive web app with Intune. That's all for this video on how to deploy progressive web app to Microsoft Edge web browser running on Windows 10 device with Intune.